y'all come back. and you're just taking my silkworms? What the heck are you doing? Where are you going, you T? You cheeky little guy. This guy, I tell you. I was trying to film a nice time lapse. E.T., that is disgusting. Okay, go eat in your cage. Nasty. Well, that was certainly one heck of a disgusting crime scene. There's a lot of mulberry leaves. I'm gonna clean that up now. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, today we are doing the month of July's super feeding video, which is a, well, a silkworm feeding video. As you all know, or if you're new here, I try my best to do a silkworm feeding video at least once a month. Yeah, with the exception of last month, I guess. We did not do a June silkworm feeding video, my bad. But I'm gonna make up for it because we got lots of silkworms over here chowing down and it's gonna be a good one. But Dion, why is it that we do a silkworm feeding video? What's so special about silkworms? Silkworms are loaded with beneficial nutrients. They have one of the highest natural sources of protein available in any commercial feeder insect, 54% to be exact. They are loaded with iron, magnesium, vitamin B groups, calcium, and phosphorus. So these insects are naturally one of the hobby's most nutritious insects available on the market. And I do my best to sort of let you all know that that's the case and take the opportunity to add them to the weekly variety that my animals get to enjoy. And of course, to show you a feeding because who doesn't love to watch animals do what they do best? thrive, eat, etc. If you guys don't already know, my name is Dion. I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and ding that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future content. I do my best to post one to two videos a week. Now guys, I do want to quickly apologize that I haven't posted any content in the last little while. I'm dealing with a few personal matters that I think are gonna be okay now, but um, I should have let you guys all know about that and I do apologize again, but hopefully that's gonna change. So really excited to be back and I appreciate your support and viewership. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and see if Sappy is interested in having a silkworm. Oh my goodness, hello. He's happy. How's it going? Hi, girl. Oh, oh my goodness. That was a pretty messed up accident. Sappy, you gotta come back and finish this. Sappy. Hey, that's an egg down there. Ugh. We might have another baby croc skink in here. Oh boy, that's exciting. We're gonna have to do an update. Okay, everyone, let's see if little Miss Sappy would like another silkworm. Come on up, girl. No, 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 don't be shy. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm so sorry. Ew, this girl is so fast. I didn't even see it coming. Okay, well, I don't want to waste this opportunity. I feel very gross about this. I'm so sorry, silkworm. I'm pretty slow about this, I guess. Let's see if we can still use this to lure her up. Yeah, it's a baby. I just saw one of the younglings come down. Keep coming. Here comes one of the babies. <laughs> hey, I'll come back. If you're wondering why there's kind of like little white tips on the top of their head, it's just a bit dry, that's all. Yeah, you want a silkworm? Up, up. It's not that hard. Up you go. Right here. Stuff. Okay, bye. 
Okay, everybody, I've got two juicy silkworms for Sabzi. One of them I'm gonna offer her like this. Holy camoly. Let's try that again. There we go. What's she gonna do? You gonna stick your hand in? Never mind. You gotta put your hand in if you want it. Yeah, there we go. Put your hand in. Just gotta put your hand in. Isn't it insane to think once upon a time this girl could fit her whole head inside that container? She almost got it. Come on, girl, you got it. No, you can't get it through the side. You gotta go through the entrance. There you go, you got it, girl. You got it. Well done. It's a beautiful tree monitor lizard. Mm, mm, mm. Last but not least, do the good old spinning ball. Throw one in there. Here she comes. Find something in there. Oh, she's onto that worm now. Oh, she got it. Uh. Ooh, nom nom nom, she is enjoying that. You can see the fresh mulberry leaves inside. Blech. She's got it all right. That's one happy camper. Well, you enjoy that, girl. Oh my goodness, look at all the mulberry everywhere. Oof, sabzy. Awesome. All right. Well, let's move on. As soon as summer season comes along, I start to feed the silkworms their natural diet. You may or may not know that silkworms feed exclusively on mulberry leaves. And the mulberry chow you see me feed them in videos throughout the winter is actually derived of this tree's foliage. Well, what's better than giving them the food straight from the natural source? When I go on hikes with my family and our dog Remy, I'll often collect some leaves and keep them in the fridge. And that is what I feed the silkworms. Okay, so here is the Toke Gecko enclosure. You can see Mr. Teeks is on the back wall there. Hello, you gonna come over here, Tiki? Let's go ahead and see if he wants a silkworm. Buddy, come on over. Whoa, it fell. Here, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. Who's down here? Tiki, I'm trying to feed Torch. What are you doing, man? Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Ah! No, that's disgusting. Tiki. Blech. Dude, finish your food, please. Thank you. Now I know Torch is down here. Torch. Come on. Come on up here. Look at this pretty girl. Good girl, Torch. Mm-mm. Ew. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Are you going all the way back down there again? Okay. Guys, have a look over here. It is a toke party. Uh, toke geckos all over the place. There's a baby. A nice juvenile over here. Hi. How you doing? Please be nice. 
I think we should see if some of these juveniles would like to have a silkworm. Hello there, would you like a silkworm? Here. Oh, nice. I think this is their first time having one. A lot of competition around, so sometimes they'll run away and hide so no one else takes it from them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Ah, yes. The typical smackdown. Better get that before Tiki comes. Yep, they're chasing each other. Go on. Come on. Look at this cute little guy. Hi. Want a silkworm? There you go, buddy. <laughs> what a little acrobat. As you can see, my captive bred Tokyo geckos are a world's difference from their Walcott counterparts. Pretty tame overall. I mean, they're still kind of skittish. Well, like I can go in here and nudge them and mess around with them. They kind of just walk away as opposed to freak out completely. Now, I really want to give this Toke here a silkworm. Come on. Here. Right here. There you go. Alrighty, next up is Miss Pingu. Here she comes. Dun da da da. Dun da da da. Look at how excited she gets. Holy camoly. Girl, take it easy. She goes really crazy for silks. She loves them. Get it, girl. Nice. She loves her silkworms. Ooh, good job. Look at her chewing that thing, holy. Nice job, girl. Nom, nom, nom. Now I wanna take a quick intermission before we do today's question of the day. We have a contest that I'm going to be doing here. It's a draw for my patrons over on the Patreon platform. We're going to be drawing three names from all my patrons, no matter what tier you're in, and you're gonna be winning a t-shirt. So let's go ahead and choose our three winners now. They're gonna be getting to choose from two of the new merch designs I have coming out in the next month or so. I'm really excited to show you guys. Take a look over here, let me know what you think. Thank you so much everybody for your support. Congratulations to Cami, Ed, and Ian for winning this month's contest. I'm excited for you to receive your merch. All right, let's get back into the video. Oh, hey, Mr. Basil. Look at you. You look like you're doing a yoga pose, buddy. Do you wanna have some silkworms? Good job, buddy. Let's move the ball over here. Basil, what's over here, buddy? Check it out. Is there a worm in there? You gonna find it? There it is. Oh, he got it so fast. <laughs> that wasn't hard for him at all. Awesome. Guys, I wanna just give you a quick sneak peek. I recently received Sabzi and Basil's enclosure. It's over here, some of the panels. It's gonna be incredible, very large. Stay tuned for that. It's finally here. So thankful to Paul and the team over at Custom Reptile Habitats. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm temporarily housing two of my female leaf turtles together. It's just a leaf. <laughs> scratching your head thinking there's something on there. They're being housed together right now because I'm working on something pretty exciting I think you're gonna really enjoy. Stay tuned for that video. 
but they're getting along really well. I've been watching them closely. The only thing they do sometimes is chase each other for food. So I make sure to always offer each of them something to eat every time I feed them at the same time so that there's not too much competition. But the funniest thing has been offering these animals silkworms because they both definitely were never offered them as young turtles. Um, and it took some time for them to gain any interest, but now they really do seem to like them. Let's see. Hello, cutie. There you go. Now, as you can see, I'm very quickly going to have to offer another one to this girl, most likely. She's probably going to chase this one. Oh, okay, that one. <laughs> oh, these animals are hilarious. Off she goes. Yeah, they always like to eat in private. It's kind of interesting. I don't blame them. Do you want to have a silkworm too? I'm not sure if she wants it. Doesn't seem very promising. They're so hit and miss, I swear. What about Mr. E.T.? Aha, hello, buddy. <laughs> hey, want another silkworm E.T.? Oh, oh my goodness, that is in the water dish I cleaned today too, nonetheless. Oof. Well, you know they're gut loaded. Oh my gosh, buddy, that is disgusting. Looks like we have a new contender for most gruesome, juicy takedown. I don't know what to call it, but Sabzi better watch your back. He's in town. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all, what is your favorite insect? I'm not talking about feeder insects today. Let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible invertebrates we share our planet with. Insects are one of the most fascinating and specialized groups of animals on our planet. For me, hands down, the praying mantis is one of the most elegant, alien, and powerful insects on our planet. Since I was a small child, they were my favorite, and I've always had an immense love for the diverse array of species of this particular group of insects. I wanna know what you guys like. Let me know what type of insect specifically in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give you a comment. Hang on, little buddy. At heart? and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks guys. Well everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. As always, I really find it to be a sincere pleasure to share with you the nutritional value of these hey, insects and give you the opportunity mm -hmm. to see how my animals are doing through a feeding video. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'm always open to new video suggestions. And as always, I really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up if you did genuinely enjoy it. It really does help the video do better as far as the YouTube algorithm goes and lets them know that hey people are liking this content and it might be recommended to more people so they can join our community too as always we'll see you all in a video again soon if you want to see more videos pertaining to silkworm feeding videos check out the playlist up above take care everybody and have a wonderful week